the great irony. John McCain, who seems like he's the big whistleblower, going after Susan Rice yesterday. Well, compare what he said about Susan Rice yesterday with what he said about another foreign policy expert, in this case, Condoleezza Rice, back in 2005. Here's McCain on Susan Rice. Take a listen. Susan Rice uh, should have known better, and if she didn't know better, she's not qualified. She should have known better. Uh, I will do everything in my power to block her from being the United States uh, Secretary of State. Okay, mortal sin, deal breaker, end of her career because John McCain said she get, had gotten the wrong brief and delivered the wrong brief. Hit, however, McCain had a very different reaction back in 2005 when Condoleezza Rice was nominated for Secretary of State. Despite her direct involvement in the country's Iraq policy, McCain chalked up opposition to her nomination to bitterness over losing an election. Interesting. Let's watch. <laughs> well, I wonder why we're starting this new Congress with a protracted debate about a foregone conclusion. I can only conclude we're doing this for no other reason than because of lingering bitterness at the outcome of the elections. Talk about a self-indictment. Anyway, McCain was asked about the contradiction this morning on the Today Show. Let's listen to him now, today. You said opponents of Condoleezza Rice were expressing sour grapes after an election loss. Why is this different? because every intelligence agency in the world, including the British, believed that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. That was just, it's an entirely different situation. Four Americans died that didn't have to die. Okay, two points I watched. Never let that go past what he just said there. First of all, thousands of people were killed in Iraq because of a war that was never justified. Thousands, and he said four, as if nothing happened in Iraq. All those dead Iraqis, all those dead Americans, all those dead, every the hell went loose over there because of that bad policy. And what was the other thing? Uh, I, oh, yeah, w WMD. What a clever phrase that was, WMD. It covers all matter of things, bi biological, chemical. Condoleezza Rice said nuclear. She said that right. country had a nuclear weapon, a nuclear weapon. That's why we went to war. Don't wait for the, what is it? Don't wait for the, uh, the smoking gun to be a mushroom cloud. Uh, it was her. Right. It, it, why does mushroom. he keep getting over? He thinks, who does he talk to? An echo chamber? He can keep getting over that mouthwash they sold us in the war with WMD, not nuclear. All the intelligence what? agencies in the world didn't disagree, didn't agree. And by the way, even our own intelligence agency never believed we had, they had nuclear weapons. So why does Washington treat him as this great sage on national security know. policy? When's that going to stop? He's been the most frequent guest on Sunday shows. You know what Calvin Trillin call the Sabbath gas bags <laughs> on Sunday, you know? He's the most frequent guest because everybody assumes he's such a knowledgeable man full of such integrity on, uh, on foreign policy and national security. Yes, he was... Uh, endured great hardship uh, when he was in No, he had a longer period now. of greatness. He, had he stood up for McCain, Feingold, and stood up he against those terrible of people in the things. W campaign. He did a number South of great Carolina. things. But in the last three years, Chris, he's turned into a cranky and unreliable analyst of okay, American well, that's foreign your, I have a more of an explanation, which is he's just going over the hard right where all the safety of, of valves are in the Republican Party. Ron, your last thought quickly. Why has John last, McCain become this John McCain? He's like the Joker in Batman. You know, life's well, been well, good he to is. me. What uh, happened to that guy? Uh, uh, I think it's personal peak. I think he never got over 2008. He, he is, he's got a double standard going on between the two Rices here, and it's apples and oranges. Susan Rice had nothing to do with Benghazi. Condoleezza Rice had a lot to do with the war in Iraq and the intelligence there. So the, the comparison is, is specious on any level. And, and why does he do incisive why, thinking? I don't know what he's one doing. Quick thing. Why doesn't he ever talk about all the Republicans who voted against $300 million that Hillary Clinton wanted to beef up embassy and consulate mm -hmm. security? There are some questions those Republicans who oppose that need to answer. That's one of the reasons that, that, that those oh, people lost their lives. It's, uh, it's sad to see this deterioration. Anyway, thank uh, you, Ron Reagan, and thank you, Jonathan yeah. Orr. You guys are inside.